The James Webb Space Telescope has been called humanity's most ambitious eye into the cosmos. It was designed to look deeper, further, and clearer than any telescope before it. Where Hubble once revealed dazzling galaxies and nebulae, Webb goes beyond, piercing into the oldest light, the faintest structures, and the hidden worlds orbiting distant stars. Its mirrors, polished to microscopic precision, collect whispers of infrared light that have traveled billions of years to reach us. Each beam of light carries a story written at the beginning of time itself. But sometimes, those stories do not match the ones we expected. One of the most astonishing recent revelations came when Webb was turned toward Proxima Centauri, our nearest stellar neighbor just over four light years away. Astronomers were eager to see what secrets Proxima b, the rocky exoplanet orbiting within the star's habitable zone, might hold. This was more than curiosity. Proxima b is the closest candidate for life outside our solar system. Yet what Webb revealed was something stranger, more unsettling, and more difficult to explain than anyone had prepared for. For decades, scientists imagined Proxima b as a potential second Earth. A rocky world orbiting a small red dwarf star, bathed in light that, though dimmer than our suns, still might sustain liquid water on its surface. The dream was compelling. Perhaps one day, we could look toward Proxima b not just as a curiosity but as a destination. But dreams rarely survive contact with reality. The Webb Telescope's observations pierced that dream with data that scientists are still struggling to interpret. The planet itself reflects light patterns that are highly unusual. Instead of showing a relatively smooth atmospheric composition, as one might expect from a rocky world, Webb detected complex signatures suggesting atmospheric instability. Some readings pointed to clouds composed of exotic chemicals, while others hinted at a bizarre absence of gases that should exist on a planet of its size and orbit. Even stranger, some datasets suggested that the planet's magnetic field, essential for protecting any potential life from its star's radiation, might be fractured, irregular, or even collapsing. Without a strong magnetic shield, any atmosphere could be stripped away by solar winds, leaving the planet barren and hostile. But the anomalies did not stop there. When Webb examined the starlight filtering through the thin edges of Proxima b's atmosphere during its orbit, something inexplicable appeared. There were spectral lines that did not correspond to any known molecules. In astronomy, every atom and molecule has a signature, a fingerprint in light. Yet here, Webb revealed fingerprints that match nothing cataloged in our universe. Some researchers cautiously proposed that these could be unknown natural compounds perhaps arising from chemistry in extreme conditions. Others dared to suggest that they might point to processes beyond natural explanations. It is here that the story shifts from science into something far more unsettling. What if the readings are not errors, not noise, but signals? What if Proxima b is not just another rocky planet but a world carrying a kind of structure or organization we cannot yet understand? Some theorists point to the possibility of techno-signatures, artificial markers left behind by advanced civilizations. That interpretation is controversial and heavily debated, but Webb has made it impossible to ignore the question, could we be looking at evidence of a world already transformed by intelligence? Adding to the mystery is the unusual rhythm of light coming from Proxima Centauri itself. Red dwarf stars are known for their flares and bursts of activity, but astronomers noticed patterns in Proxima's flares that seemed too regular. Instead of chaotic outbursts, some of the flares appeared to pulse with a strange periodicity, as though following a cycle. To most, this is likely a natural stellar phenomenon we simply do not yet understand. But for others, the timing raises unsettling questions. Could this rhythm be connected to the anomalies seen on Proxima b? If this were the extent of Webb's findings, it would already be enough to shake astronomy to its core. Yet there is another element that has kept scientists awake at night. The thermal maps of Proxima b showed not just the expected warmth from its star but localized hotspots that moved across the surface in ways that defy orbital physics. Instead of a simple day-night temperature distribution, there were areas that seemed to flash with sudden, intense bursts of heat, as though the surface itself were being altered in real time. 
Natural explanations exist, of course, volcanic activity, tidal stresses, or magnetic heating. But none of those fully explain the precision or the intensity of the hotspots Webb recorded. The implications are staggering. If these anomalies point to geological activity, then Proxima b may be far more dynamic than Earth, its surface reshaped constantly by forces we barely understand. If they point to something else, something less natural, then the planet could be harboring processes we are not yet ready to confront. In either case, it challenges the notion that Proxima b is a quiet, static world. Instead, it may be alive with activity, either geological or something beyond our comprehension. This is where the fear sets in. For years, humanity has looked to the stars with hope, searching for another Earth. Proxima b was the brightest candidate, the closest possible refuge, the symbol of our species' potential expansion beyond the solar system. But Webb's revelations suggest that we may have been naive. The universe does not owe us another Earth. What it offers instead are worlds that are stranger, harsher, and more enigmatic than we dared imagine. Consider the possibility that we are not the first to look outward. If Proxima b carries signatures of intelligence, whether past or present, then we may not be pioneers but latecomers in a cosmic story already unfolding. If it is a world scarred by collapse, stripped of its atmosphere, or destabilized by forces we cannot control, then it stands as a warning. Survival in the cosmos is fragile. Perhaps the anomalies are the remnants of a civilization that once flourished and fell. Or perhaps they are the early signs of a world struggling against the very same cosmic dangers that one day could threaten us. And yet, not all scientists agree with the darker interpretations. Some caution that the unknown spectral lines could be natural but rare molecules, not alien signatures. The strange heat patterns might be volcanic megastructures larger than anything on Earth, not artificial constructs. The rhythmic flares of Proxima Centauri might simply be the heartbeat of a star we do not yet understand, not signals. In science, extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence and Webb's discoveries, while extraordinary, are not yet conclusive. Still, the unease lingers. The Webb telescope was meant to answer questions about the universe's infancy, about the first galaxies, the birth of stars, and the chemistry of distant planets. Instead, it has forced us to confront unsettling questions about our closest neighbor. If Proxima b is not the new Earth we hoped for, then what does that mean for our search for life elsewhere? If it carries the fingerprints of unknown processes, then how do we interpret them without projecting our fears or our hopes onto the data? What makes this discovery so profound is not only what it tells us about Proxima b but what it reflects back on us. Humanity has always longed for companionship in the cosmos, for reassurance that we are not alone. Yet when faced with anomalies that hint at the possibility, our first reaction is fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of what intelligence beyond Earth might mean, fear that the universe is not waiting to welcome us but to confront us with mysteries that challenge everything we know. The James Webb Space Telescope has done what great science always does. It has replaced certainty with questions, clarity with mystery. Proxima b, once thought to be a familiar dream of another Earth, has become something else entirely, a mirror reflecting the limits of our understanding, and perhaps, the fragility of our place in the cosmos. And so, we stand at the edge of discovery, staring at a world only four light years away, yet separated from us by an ocean of uncertainty. Whether Proxima b is alive with exotic chemistry, shaped by violent geology, or marked by the traces of intelligence, one truth remains. The universe is far stranger than we imagined. Webb has shown us not a second Earth, but a reminder that in the search for life, the answers may be far more complex, and far more unsettling, than we ever dared to dream.